generally in violation of his solemn oath to do justice to every person and to faithfully execute the laws. In particular, he is liable for culpable violation of the Constitution and betrayal of public trust. More specifically, there are at least five cases or incidents that would result in this criminal liability. One, the port barrel system, particularly the DAP, as author or proponent of unconstitutional acts in violation of specific provisions of the Constitution and even the revised penal code on continuing illegal transfer and use of public funds. Two, the implementation of the EDCA, the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, for blatant and multiple violations of specific constitutional provisions. Three, for criminal negligence for the Yolanda disaster and other natural resources. Four, for multiple liabilities for impunity for human rights violations. And fifth, which is current, on the Mama Sapano incident. On the Mama Sapano incident, he is liable, the incumbent president, is potentially and actually liable for at least six crimes or violations. First, for violation of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act, for undue injury to any party, including the government, or giving any private party any unwarranted benefits, advantage, or preference in the discharge of his official functions through manifest partiality, evident bad faith, gross inexcusable negligence, which are deemed corrupt acts and therefore unlawful. Second, violation of the Code of Ethical Standards for government officials and employees, wherein it is mandated that the public interest should come first before his personal interest. Third, obstruction of justice. Fourth, supporting or inducing usurpation of authority by allowing a suspended public official in performing an act which is also unlawful. Fifth, contempt for or defiance of a lawful order of the Ombudsman with respect to the suspension order of General Purisima. And six, possibly reckless imprudence for murder or homicide and his complicity in the deaths of several uh, individuals. Therefore, there is a proven pattern that the incumbent president is a remorseless recidivist or a habitual offender of abuse of power. The incumbent president is negligent in his duty he is an absentee chief executive and a violator of many basic rights. In legal language, he is liable for non-feasance, for misfeasance, and even malfeasance.